Charles Hill, please. Okay, so I am excited to be here, but I'm really nervous because I haven't done any stand up and, or, you know, any open mics, nothing in seven years because seven years ago I had failed spinal fusion and a partial lobotomy. The partial lobotomy wasn't supposed to be a part of the surgery, but it was. So, uh, let's see. It's great for the men that I date because every morning I wake up in a new world. I go to bed mad. The more sensitive men will say to me, so honey, are, are we okay about yesterday? I'm like, I don't know what happened yesterday. So basically, I'm just a dude with a vagina now. <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna be super transparent with everybody here. I have never tried drugs in my life until my surgery and now I take medical marijuana and it's fucking great <laughs> I wish I would have done it sooner <laughs> I did use while I was preparing for this open mic so these might be a little funnier to me than they are to you I don't know I grew up in a really strict Southern Baptist household but as we've gotten older my siblings and I have decided to cover our bets and we're all different religions now we figure if one of us gets in We'll just open the door for the others. <laughs> yeah. So, but here's some examples. Like my brother, he's still a Baptist, so he loves a good potluck. My sister's Catholic, she confesses to everything. I'm non-denominational, so it means I can't commit to anything. <laughs> yeah, my brother's Jehovah's Witness, my other brother. I like to make him feel comfortable when he comes over. So I just close the blinds and pretend I'm not home. <laughs> he stands there at the door. But I have some good news. <laughs> he starts to leave and I'm like, no, 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 wait, I'm, I'm here, come back. So what's your good news? And he says, I don't know, we never get this far. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's my crazy family. And I have a couple of kids. My daughter told me that she wants to name her daughter after my car. So someday I'll sit a little journey down and tell her be glad Grandma didn't buy an escort. <laughs> yeah, my son, you know, he couldn't be outdone by his sister. He wants to name his son after my favorite rapper. Someday I'll be reading bedtime stories to old dirty bastard. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, I had to have the talk. I'm a single parent, so I have to have the talk and do everything for the kids, right? So I had the talk. And, the first question out of my daughter's mouth was, does the pull-out method work? And I thought, good God, make this answer count. And I said, have you met your brother? <laughs> wow, that, that's how that child got here. I wanted to be a progressive mom, though. So I went out when my son was 13, and I bought him some condoms. But come on. I'm a funny mom. I bought him the magnum size. <laughs> he just looked like the boy in the bubble. <laughs> now, I've made my son feel completely inadequate. I've done my job as a woman and as a mother. He's ready to get married now. <laughs> oh, you're married. Oh, you're reading a text. Never mind. <laughs> Oh, you finally just got the bubble. <laughs> I mean, that's, you don't get magnum size either. <laughs> he came to me the other day and he said, Mom, you know, I've been still buying the magnum size condoms, but they don't fit. And I thought, oh, you poor bastard. You must take after your dad's side of the family. Because <laughs> it can't be my side of the family because I got pretty big balls. <laughs> yeah. And he said, no, they're too tight. And I went. That's my son. He gets it. <laughs> yeah, he gets it from my side of the family. We're from the South, by the way, so I know that. <sighs> I did really raise some good human beings, though. When my daughter first met her brother, I said, Do you love your new brother? And she took one look at him and said, No. And that has not changed in all of these years. But they had been pretty good to each other for a little while, so when they were younger, I said, I'm going to treat them to a Red Wings game. That first fight was so awesome. There were teeth on the floor. Everybody was, like, punching each other. Gloves were thrown to the floor. And after we got done at the hospital, we went to the game. 
I am excited though because I just got my first hat trick in divorce court. I don't get it. When a hockey player gets like a hat trick, they get high fives, they get hugs, I get a hat trick, and the judge hits me over the head with her gavel and says, stop getting married. <laughs> I don't get it. But, you know, I was raised a good Baptist girl, so I'm sleeping around with my husband at a time. <laughs> That's what you do, right? So back when I was married, I used to get a little bit jealous of my friends, you know, their husbands would call them names like honey and baby. Mine would just call the police. <laughs> Not like I meant to stab him twice in the dick. <laughs> so I saw my doctor here earlier, and I was like kind of excited, but then I realized, wait, that's just another man that's seen me naked. And I thought, eh, maybe I'm not so thrilled after all. And I hate it when I'm like sitting in his office naked, laying on the table with my feet in the stirrups, and he comes in and he's like, I told you I'm a foot doctor. You don't have to be naked with your feet in the stirrups. <laughs> I'm like, you're the confused bastard with stirrups on your table. And I'm like, okay, whatever, you know, right? Look at it, it's here. Somebody better be looking at it. Anyway, I appreciate all of you listening to my fail for the first time in seven years. I appreciate all of you. Don't forget Renee behind the bar because she's doing an awesome job busting her ass on everybody. Oops, I said ass. I'm sorry. My child's here. Anyway, thank you for having me tonight. I appreciate you all. Have a great night. Stay safe.